Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog. Today's episode is brought to you by the Patreon account. Also, Scott at Tank Crimes Records for just rolling and also supporting this channel. But this was picked up through the Patreon picks last month. Spaz and their classic album, La Ravancha. I hope I said that correctly. If not, I apologize. Originally released by Sound Pollution in 1996. Pollute release 27. But what a classic. But I can get no arguments with myself all day. What's a better album? Crush, Kill, Destroy, or La Rancia. It's one of those, like, oh, man, but then you have Dwarf Gesture Rising, but I don't know. La Rancia, it's one of those albums that just, it's so good. It does what it's supposed to do in such an enjoyable way. But Crush Kill Destroy, like if somebody had never heard like power violence, fast core, whatever you want to, you know, label it under, I just consider spaz power violence. That's just me. So don't kill me if you consider it something else. But like, I, I love this shit. Like, it's a little tongue in cheek, and that's one of the reasons I love it so much. Especially Crush, Kill, Destroy. But, like, I love the bass tone on this record. It's just ridiculous sounding. Like, it's one of those releases that, like, it's heavy as, like, fuck, but, like, in its own way of heaviness. But, like, this right here can pass the heaviness test for almost anyone, I'd say. But I always loved the cover art. This made the Decibel Magazine Hall of Fame. And I remember being like, why wasn't it Crush, Kill, Destroy? And I never had really given this as much of a chance as I had Crush, Kill, Destroy. Because this was like my go-to power violence record alongside like the Capitalist Casualties, Man is the Bastard split. I just always loved that split, but at the same time, like, when Weekend Nachos came out, I remember being like, whoa, it sounds like Spaz and Sheer Terror got into a fist fight with, like, John's vocals and stuff, like, kind of sounding like Spaz, and it just was awesome, and I don't know. Whenever I hear, like, this record, I, I'm reminded of early Weekend Nachos. Like, Punish and Destroy, or, like, uh, like, the EP and stuff, and the first full length, I would say. But, like, when you get to, like, like Unforgiven, Worthless, all that, that's a completely different monster, I would say. It's more, like, Doom Riddled and just absolutely crushing but I love the vocal attack on La Ranch <laughs> I, I, it's so I don't know why I have such a hard time with this stupid title I apologize La Ravancha La Ravancha La Ravancha so with La Ravancha it's just one of those albums. I, I like don't just want to say I love the vocals because I love the vocal patterns and like going from like good cop, bad cop, worst cop, but like in the best. I just I mean that in the best way possible. I don't mean it in the metalcore garbage way. I mean it in like good cop being like regular vocals bad cop being like the pissed off more low vocals and worst cop being the like 
Ugh! like the real aggro vocals, and I just I, I love it. And you have Alex Young, Alex Yang on uh, sax and voice, KF Dan on six string mudslinger, Groover Clout to turn it out. They always have these cool like beats too. And I know some of you might not like the beats. I personally think it's such a just cool touch. And it just fits. And uh, the beats by uh, DJ Eons and DJ Optimus Prime for 625 Productions. 1995. Cool Keith appears courtesy of Funky Ass Records. Mike, uh... Quickendale appears courtesy of Raging Woody Records and Alex Ying. Uh, Alex Yang. Oh my god, I apologize. Alex Y appear courtesy of 625 Productions. Not 625 Thrash, just 625 Productions. I wonder if there is a difference. I don't really know. But uh, all I do know is I love WWF rematch at the Cow Palace. It's just. One of those tracks, like the opening, like the sample, everything about it to me is like what I love about like power violence. Like just not really taking itself 100% seriously and like still kicking your ass with like heavy, fast, pissed off tunes. But who else is going to use an airplane sample? Probably nobody, especially during this time period where everybody was trying to take themselves way too seriously. And I feel like Spaz is kind of the answer to the scene at the time. Like, especially like in the metal scene, you had a lot of bands that I don't want to say failed, but like might have gotten on a major label and then not done major label numbers and the label says hey we can give you this producer you know and i think he can help you guys out and next thing you know you have clean singing synthesizers on tracks that do not need synthesizers and your band sounds like nightwish yeah, to me, this is, like, the fuck you to that, and it's great. And just like Crush, Kill, Destroy, just a nice pro tape, nothing special. And I, I like how, like, the shells are, like, two different colors, too. I just like that. And you get that Killer Tank Crimes logo. But Crush, Kill, Destroy. Get the red pro tape. And the white pro tape for La Ravancha. I always fuck that title up. So I'm glad I got to say it correctly for you maniacs. But thank you to the patron account. Because this Power Violence Classic is now in our hands. And... You get 26 tracks, including a Cryptic Slaughter uh, cover of M.A.D., which is always a treat if you know who Cryptic Slaughter are. Hopefully one day we can go over, like, wrongfully convicted or something badass like that. But some of my favorite tracks on here are Raging, Hate, Fear, and and. Flower Power Violence, that track's just amazing. Urinal Cake, um, WWF Rematch at the Cow Palace. There's so much good shit. Camp Chestnut, No Shadow Kick. The one with the goats got an orgy up the sleeve. That's, oh my god. Sweet Home Alabama. Bobby's Jackpot Jamboree. There, there's so much ridiculous shit. Like Dewey Decimal Stench Core. Like, so good. And if you get it, you get it. Swamp Foot. Like, just badass shit. Like, trust me. Get in the spaz if you're into a good time. 
and fast, heavy music. La Ravancha has you covered. Thank you for watching as always. You fucking rule. Hails.